Welcome back to another installment of the Forza Motorsport 4 King of the Mountain series. So if you joined us last time with the four-wheel drive cars, we had this, this Saab 93 Airbus that was, was converted to four-wheel drive and actually did pretty, pretty solidly. So sort of found itself in that no man's land of that four minutes 30, with that four minutes 35 that ended it in, I think it was eight place. Hang on, I've got it noted down somewhere. I'm absolutely professional to not have the notes above me here we are yeah 435.3 so landed it in eighth place ahead of that uh porsche 997 turbo so i was uh, sort of scanning around thinking what other cars do we not have in modern forces that are actually quite cool which is the when i actually remembered about this the reese millen hyundai veloster sort of what i'm basing it is I think it's meant to be like a rally cross car of sorts. So, uh, yeah, this is going to have an attempt to see how well it can do up for Jimmy Kaido. Alright, lads and lasses. And, uh, yep, yeah, welcome back to another Morseful 4. So, let's get into the building of things. Uh, now, to begin with, this car is very high in S Class. As you can see there, I've only got 7 PI to actually play with with this car. Uh, so yeah, that's going to go straight onto tyres. 265s. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, puts it to our 3 class anyway. Right, okay. Pretty much just wider tyres. Can I take a little bit more weight off with wheels? I can. Them wheels look awful on the thing. Uh, they'll do. Uh, Right, okay. There we go. Car's built. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Yeah, so here's what we're looking at. We're looking at 500 horsepower. That's actually not too bad for a four-wheel drive car. 600 foot-pounds of torque. Again, not too terrible. 2,860 pounds uh, for the four-wheel drive cars. I don't think that was too terrible. Um, I think it's definitely heavier than a lot of the four-wheel drive cars. I think Ford RS200. That was ridiculously light. Evo 6. 22B, much lighter than this, I believe, uh, if, I remember, if memory is something right. Um, yeah, I was kind of really curious to see how this would do. So we're sort of looking at a 0 to 60 of 3 seconds, uh, 0 to 100 of 8.1. Top speed, doesn't really matter, because we're barely going to get above 130 anyway. Uh, braking is 111 foot, 296. Uh, okay, so the braking is not the greatest. Uh, but for four-wheel drive cars, you'd expect that anyway. The lateral G's, over one for both. That's good. Right, we've got over one lateral G for both of them. Uh, right, okay. Well, the other good thing as well is that 120, I do get more lateral G. So that's good. Right, well, there we go. Car's built in a minute. Right. <laughs> so, let's see how well this does up for Jimmy Kaido. All right, so here we are at the base of the new hill climb at Fujimi Kaido. As ever, three attempts to get up the mountain as quick as possible. Current leader for the four-wheel drive class is the Evo 6 with a 429.2. I don't think it's going to get there. Um, I don't know where this could actually land. I think this could probably be sort of close to the Saab, to be honest. I am reckon possibly... 4 minutes 35s, maybe around that sort of time, maybe sort of 4.36, that's where I'm going to expect. So, uh, well, let's see if I'm, how close I am, or how incredibly wrong I am. Uh, there's only one way to find out. Nice, okay. So, one thing going to be about this is obviously the really short gears, considering, well, the top speed is only, um, well, 147 miles an hour. Start we bogged down hideously, that's uh, not a good start, I will admit. Right, okay, come on, though. let's uh, get up the mountain. Oops. Right, okay, definitely will need to short shift with this because obviously a lot of the power goes and torque goes early on. Oh, that's a fair amount of oversteer. However, it is all nicely controllable with this thing so far. doesn't actually drive too terribly, so that is a uh, that is a bonus. What we're going to be doing over here, 96 miles an hour. Right, okay, so... Oh, wow, that's a mile of understeer there. Bloody hell, it did not fancy turning in for that corner whatsoever. So the main thing I'm going to have to definitely worry about is the acceleration. It is not very high. It's a complete stark opposite of a, lot, a hell of a lot of the four-wheel drive cars that we sent up here. So what I'm hoping for 
is that this car actually has pretty good cornering grip and so far from what I've found out is that it's got absolute cake loads of understeer it really does not like these corners whatsoever it just absolutely wants to understeer into bloody motorsport 7 this thing Christ almighty right come on need to need to cooperate here oh come on get you up here nice come on get it through the gears but of course you know the short gears uh, might actually help a little bit obviously not going to be having to fight through the gears uh, oh come on uh, is first gear going to be quite good through here actually to be honest it might be might be one of those I keep shifting up and down because uh, of course I want to keep the turbos I want to keep those turbos spooled I don't want any turbo lag when I'm Minimise it as much as possible. Right, okay, out of the final of the four hairpins for the first time. So, so far, what I'm learning about the Hyundai is acceleration is quite low. The understeer is quite high as well. There we got 110 miles an hour through there, and that's flat out. That's definitely one of the uh, definitely one of the slowest cars we've had around here. I think that was only 124 miles an hour concerning a lot of cars even the four-wheel drive cars we're hitting well above we're hitting about 130 miles an hour yeah this is a uh, all gonna be about hopefully that cornering grip which doesn't really have a lot of so I mean, there's gonna be a lot of fighting of understeer when it comes to this Hyundai oh come on let's get you through there yeah it does take a while to sort of find its grip but then when it does the turning actually is quite nice I will admit that but it just takes a hot second to actually find that turning grip a little bit of oversteer through there however I'm not concerned about that whatsoever the back uh, is actually quite nicely planted I will admit that okay through the uh, waterfall car park for the first time now again it's the thing about it is that it's actually nicely composed. It is a nice composed vehicle, just not the greatest for turning in. But, you know, I have driven worse on this build series. So, you know, there is that. And I just thought, you know, it would be a nice change. It would be an interesting change to uh, just have a Hyundai sort of rally cross car. I think it's rally cross. Um, it's way too powerful to be a rally car. Concerned it's got 500. Um, Concerned rally cars back then, I think we're running only about 300. So, yeah, it's not that, definitely. Oh, God, the, did miss my breaking point a little bit. Again, understeer big time, but it does tuck in eventually. It just takes. Yeah, once it actually gets that front end hooked into the corners, it's actually quite nice. It just needs to hook in a little bit better. Again, 124 miles an hour. That is actually quite slow that was actually really slow compared to a hell of a lot of four wheel drive vehicles ok yeah I'm going to be dead wrong about this car is this going to be slower than the Audi quite possibly we've not had one of those four wheel drive cars like that for a while to actually be slower than the Audi I think it was only really the VW Touareg and the Bentley were slower than the, uh, the Audi Quattro just one more corner to go, front end tucking in nicely. Oh, there is room to improve, but so far we are actually quite down. A 439.6. Sorry, I'm having to type this onto my spreadsheet in Discord. Uh, link in the description. Yeah, right, okay. So, first impressions. You. It's uh, not that great, to be honest. The bogging down at the start definitely could do... I think it could probably do with the shorter first gear because it really does struggle to get off that line. Um, so that needs to definitely be improved. But the main thing is that understeer. I've got to work around. So there is that as well. It deals with the bumps quite nicely, as you'd expect and hope. If it was awful with the bumps, then we'd have a major major issue right, okay let's get you through first chicane a lot nicer actually this time put you down into second ah, yeah it's just it really does just struggle with initial turning that's the main thing again 96 miles an hour 
much better through that corner actually this time managed to hit the apex and not the outside wall that's uh, a m big improvement for Hyundai we are moving somewhere oh Christ come on we can uh, get you through these corners oh, a little bit of a uh, arse kicking out moment but we are completely fine just gonna now wrestle it up here there we go yeah it's dealing with the um, all the crests and things like that no problems which uh, is good to be honest having no problems over the crests it does allow me to be a little bit more aggressive with the car not that can really be that aggressive yes yeah, that front end really does not want to turn in in the slightest really doesn't want to oh I got my breaking point wrong there though need to step that up really need to step that up need to remember this car does not like turning into the corners that is a huge um, that that is just a lack of grip there so sort of all all tires just gave way there it wasn't just the front end not turning in that rear sort of uh, it was just really a lazy drift in a way I think I just tried to attack that corner a little bit too aggressively trying to really wrestle the Hyundai when it just it can't quite do it I, I mean you know it's got two six fives but a lot of the four-wheel drive cars haven't had wider tyres than that. Some of them had even narrower tower, uh, narrower tyres. I think the other thing as well is I probably should have looked at what tyre compounds this is on. Because it might be on might be on sport tyres. Um, so it doesn't, definitely doesn't feel like it's on race tyres at all. I don't think I'd actually be able to get race tyres on the thing. Um, not with 500 horsepower. Um, well, actually... I might have gone away with it with the power to weight. Possibly. Not too sure. Um, but if it is on race tyres, ooh, that is going to be big problems. I, I don't think it is. I I think I probably just automatically assumed it would be. Um, and then sort of just went ahead. Or just, if it wasn't, just automatically assumed it would add too much PI. So that might have actually been my stupid on that. I'll uh, have to have a look how much PI... It actually adds. Right, okay, let's get you through the uh, up towards the waterfall car park. Now I can feel a sneeze coming. God's sake! Now is not the time. Not when I'm trying to wrestle this car up the uh, up the mountain. Come on, bodily functions. Just sod off until uh, until these three runs are over. Or at least till this run is over, so I can take a quick sneeze break. At least do that. So you know, work with me, damn it. Right, I've got to go wide and then tuck the car in there we go and it does shrug off a lot of speed I think that might be another thing as well I'm, hmm, I'm not too sure really after yeah well I can't really experiment for the final run the final run I need to absolutely go for it but there's got to be something that um, is not quite clicking for this Hyundai that was much better through that corner actually much much better going to be able to carry a little bit more speed hopefully hopefully a little bit more than 124 before I have to slam on the brakes come on uh, nope 124 again get it down the gears this time into second I'm just going to leave it in second for the time being no point changing and uh, I'll change now there we go uh, no I'm going to leave it in third for the minute yeah this run does feel a lot better I will admit that yeah it's feeling a much nicer run this time should hopefully save a few seconds few few less mistakes front end you know hitting more apexes this time let's have a look though if it has been quicker around the final corner it absolutely has been 438 dead whoo right okay so it's only just beaten the Tuareg it's not even a second faster than the Tuareg oh dear this hasn't gone well. This really hasn't gone well for the Veloster. Right, I've got one more attempt to try and get more time. The thing is, if I'm going to beat the Audi, I'd need to find exactly 1.9 seconds. Uh, not 1.9 seconds, what the hell am I on? 1.1 seconds. So, that's to exactly beat that car. Oh god, the bogging down at the start really does not help the car whatsoever. Right, okay, I really need to push now. I need to try and find at one second to actually beat the benchmark car. So, 
come on now. Let's uh, let's find that time. Get you through the chicane. A little bit of understeer, but that might become for me trying to absolutely push this Hyundai to the absolute limits. Now I cannot take anything passively. It's absolutely got to go over. Uh, you know, I've got to use the first two runs to learn the car a little bit, and then the final run I've got to use what I've learned and put it to the test. But this is when the mistakes will form much easier. Well, again, though, over the crests, it's actually fine, which is uh, which definitely does help a little bit. The fact that I'm able to actually be quite aggressive over those small crests that will just throw many, many cars wide, which uh, has caused issues in the past, but for the Veloster, no problems whatsoever. Right, let's try and get you through this hairpin, carry as much speed as possible, accelerate out of there. Right, let's try and get this hairpin right, I'm going to be a little bit earlier on the brakes, kiss that apex and get stamping back onto the power, got to keep that rear end under control, much better this time, actually almost crashing into the wall, because uh, that front end did agree with me that time, really did, was uh, wanting to get into that corner, no problems, right, okay, I can't really just leave it in first gear, I do have to shift, even though it's not the... Uh, the biggest of straights, as big as acceleration zones in between the four hairpins, it's still noticeable enough that you might need to swap gears, especially in this thing with the really, really close gears. Uh, oh, the back end just let go a little bit, just a general lack of grip. No, that was actually slower there through the river chicane, only about 109. It's uh, not a good sign. Let's carry as much speed as I possibly can. Up towards the 50% hairpin now. There, time's looking about 2.19. Uh, not the, uh, definitely not fantastic. I think some of the faster cars were going like 2 minute 12. Um, some of the absolute fastest machines. So, you know, there, there is that. Okay, I've got to get it through now, this left-hander. We are able to get it through actually nicely keep that car under control over the crest again not really any problems oh god gotta be careful ah i tried to attack it way too hard there really did i was on a wonky line and then tried to salvage it as best as i could and didn't really work out and you know what i think to be honest i was possibly making a mistake shifting it down to first through the uh through the four hairpins i don't actually think it needed to do it whatsoever but you know it's a uh, lesson learnt the hard way. I will admit that. Right, okay. But let's not dwell on the past. We've got to try and focus on what is coming up ahead now. I feel like this run is still mistake. Well, obviously mistake. We're not crashed into a wall. Um, but I do feel like this might possibly be a very similar time. If not a little bit quicker. I don't actually know. I really don't know. And that I think there was probably too many mistakes early on as well, but I don't know, only the time will tell. Let's have a look, get you in the second, out of this corner, carry as much speed as I possibly can, get it up this uh, get up this hill, I need to get these gear shifts bang on, need to keep that torque, need to keep that power, come on, now 124 yet again, oh, that did not want to get stopped, really didn't want to get stopped there, I think that was possibly my fault, and there uh, comes the understeer need to really try and wrestle it now through the final corners that was me turning in too early expecting more understeer okay down into second i'm on really dodgy lines here really really dodgy lines i think i've thrown it away at the end yeah must have done must have thrown it away but the final corner's flat oh it was quicker it was quicker by half a second not enough to beat the benchmark car. So this is the third car to not be able to beat the Audi Quattro. But, in fairness, I was not able to actually get a lot of upgrades with the Hyundai. Uh, but, you know, that's how it be. Let's uh, now tot up how it does on the leaderboard. And so, the Hyundai has landed itself in a 13th place with 
the 437.5 yeah it just struggled really the front end just didn't have enough grip and the acceleration just wasn't there the launch definitely doesn't help with how much it actually bogged down at the start and yeah there just wasn't quite enough there to actually carry the car up the uh up the mountain to actually set it well a a good time but b to actually beat the benchmark car of the audi quattro um it did surprise me to be honest i will thought we've performed a little bit better than it did but you know is what it is and uh yeah it puts itself quite low on the uh on the table however that's gonna be it for me do hope you enjoyed all feedback is appreciated if you want to suggest a car Feel free to leave some, uh, leave suggestions, comments, or you can join the Discord with a link in the description. And yeah, you can suggest other cars there. Completely up to you. However, that's it from me. Take care, and ciao for now.